the bad version. In the era of Hollywood's classic Universal Studios monster movies, few are more memorable than Frankenstein, Dracula, the Wolfman, and the Creature from the Black Lagoon. None of these, however, can stand up to scrutiny as successfully as the seething, scare-inducing Invisible Man and the Mummy. Clearly, the Invisible Man is carefully crafted to conjure a callous killer with a cracked moral compass. The once good scientist has no further reason to behave like a good guy, because his head is all messed up due to invisibility and he doesn't have any friends left because of the crimes he's committed. The mummy is obsessed with revenge and in love with the dead princess. He thinks he sees her in a modern woman and murders to get close to her, not realizing that he's become the villain, like completely, who turned him into a mummy. Scary monsters are the monsters that make us think we could be monsters. The Good Version Written like the way we speak, but not informally. When we imagine Hollywood's classic monsters, we picture Frankenstein, Dracula, the Wolfman, and the creature from the Black Lagoon. None of these, however, measure up to the greatest movie monsters of the era, the Invisible Man and the Mummy. For while some monsters scare us because we don't understand them, the Invisible Man and the Mummy scare us because we do. The Invisible Man's goodness disappeared with his body. He reminds us that none of us know who we'd be without consequences. And what could be more terrifying than not knowing yourself? The Mummy, by contrast, shows us the horror of obsession. He is consumed by his ancient love for his princess and will kill to reach her. His evil grows from a virtue taken to the extreme, and to see romance turn to cruelty is mortifying. We might fear all manner of monsters, but the ones that truly scare us are the ones we're afraid to become. <laughs>